All right, we got some time to sit down here with some good old versus play against my opponent. And we've had our first uh, rule conundrum. <laughs> it didn't take long. But, uh, and the problem is this hex right here. And uh, you can see it's all water hexes here. And if it's a fat hex, it's usually called a lake. Anything that's wide is called a lake, a lake, a lake, and water hexes, etc. If it's not a water hex, if it's not a lake hex, then it's a river hex. But if you come here, you can see the river does widen up a little bit here, and it's not called a river. And I'm, I don't, I have, I'm not Spanish fluent, so I don't know what Embalas Saran Grande. So if that Saran means river, it's a grand river, it's just a wide part of the river. But my opponent was complaining that it was an all-water hack, so I gave in, so I gave him that one. So my uh, attack across here would have been illegal. would have been a cheating attack. So I uh, went ahead and took it back. Uh, insurgency units now can attack across all river hex sites, but I had a regular Libyan unit uh, participating in attack, which she says was illegal, so we'll give them that. We'll call this a lake now. Uh, we had to redo the attack, same results, just had to do it with my insurgency unit, although the Libyan unit had to do a soak off attack, and he got eliminated, which gives him another victory point right there. So, uh, uh, my main goal of this attack, though, was to eliminate his paratroop unit. I'm trying to go after those uh, paratroopers and special forces. So in a way, I'll, I had to switch off a regular living unit for a paratroop unit. I'll take that any day. Uh, so insurgency units unfortunately cannot advance after combat, so this hex where I had my Libyan and insurgency unit was illegal. So we're just, we're just mucking our way through the rules, a little bit of legal ease. But we are waiting for his results. And this is what's going on with the uh, El Salvador Civil War. It is his turn. And uh, we're going to see what kind of damage he could do. It's time for him to go on the offensive. He's got some uh, very capable helicopters here. He's got some real good attack helicopters here. One, two, well, that's a Huey. That's a utility helicopter. But, uh, yeah, he needs to start making use of some of these anti-aircraft <laughs> units. All kinds of units there. They've just been sitting there. So I don't know what his strategy is, if there's rhyme or reason to it, or if he's just messing with me. <laughs> Maybe he's a troller, a channel troller. All right, we'll be back. All right, we are back, back, back with some uh, Central America and some Salvadoran Civil War. And it is the, uh, oh, we are on the uh, Allied Ground and Air Stage. And it is a regular ground movement stage. And I'll show you the board, tell you what everything's about. Those white dots. Then we're on top of brigade sized units, and my uh, opponent has to roll the dice of 1d6. And he has to get a even number to be able to move those units. If he gets an odd number on that roll, they have to stay where they're at. So he's got certain criteria he has to meet uh, at the beginning of this scenario. Now he also has on turn 3 a 16 unit limit. Turn 1 was 8 ground units he could move. Turn 2 was 12. Turn 3, which we're on right now, is 16. So right now he has moved, and I'm keeping track of him on a die here, five units. And you can see the ones that have turned sideways. Now he uh, forgot about stacking limits, which is fine. I went ahead, and when he retreated, he retreated uh, into this air group hex. But that would have violated stacking limits, so I could have been a dickhead and uh, waited for his, the end of his turn and eliminated his units. But I just politely reminded him and uh, moved his units here to a legal spot or else he would have been he would have lost that unit for overstacking penalties and he did that on a couple spots but i uh let him know and that like i said in a real game you know you don't you don't do that you get those little <laughs> yeah some people might not have mercy if you were playing certain opponents but yeah and then i think uh i forgot what other unit here i think it's this uh, r and r unit he placed on an illegal spot so uh uh I emailed him and he had him corrected, which is cool. So we'll do that now. I don't know if I have any mercy next time. <laughs> I done told him once. All right, there you go. Units with a white dot on top of them are brigade sized units that need to be rolled. Again, even number. So he successfully rolled for that unit and moved it on up. Uh, orange blocks are victory point hexes. I forgot to put orange blocks on the ports. If I get next to a port, or not next to a port, actually control a port. I'll get a victory point. So all the orange blocks are communist victory point hexes. And uh, 
white dots are on top of units that have to roll before they get activated. And here's the situation. Now, he has got artillery. He's got engineers. He's got attack helicopters. He should be trouncing me in this game. Unfortunately for him, he didn't take advantage of that. <laughs> I don't know why during his first turns, but uh, right now we are on a low cloud cover uh, turn. That really don't have any effect, though, on um, his helicopters and air units. The only thing that has an effect on it is uh, counter, or rather, correct me, aerial counterinsurgency. So it's hard to see those units gathering in the jungles or whatever they're gathering at with that low cloud cover. I guess they could fly above it for any other missions or whatever, but no uh, aerial counterinsurgency during the turns with the blocks on them. We are done with... Uh, Wellington's victory. That is a great game. And like I said earlier, I kind of maybe poo-pooed that game because I thought it was a goofy uh, video game. And it's kind of graphically primitive, but you don't need much on that game. And it makes up for it on everything else. So highly recommend it. It's by Hex War. Or, uh, I, I want to say Hex War. Maybe it's Hex War Games. It's on Steam. And it's cheap. I think it's only like maybe 3 $4. And if you wait for a the sale, they sell it to you for a buck but uh it incorporates every all these moves here on a regular game uh but the best thing about that game is in computer games is they don't let you make illegal moves like if this guy was going to overstack the game would have told him you know you can't do that so that's one good thing about uh the computer games you ain't got to really, really worry about making illegal moves because it won't let you like i said everything's incorporated and that was a great game i just uh like i said oh, hold on a second Uh, sorry about that, uh, but uh, I just you know lost too many units and like uh, as you can see during the game, the losses were something I was definitely aware of, and uh, knew that we were uh, shall we say skinny, skating on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> it came crashing on down, and I lost the Battle of Waterloo, but it was close, and I think I had a great uh, strategy. Uh, I don't know if I'll videotape it again because that was a long series of videos but I definitely am going to revisit that game with that strategy and see if we can't do a little better but that's what it's all about plenty of games to be playing and I only got about seven days left till I gotta go back to work so having a great time doing what we love to do in our spare time be back all right we're continuing on with the Civil War El Salvador from Victory Games Central America and it is my opponent's turn and I made note of this earlier, that, uh, uh, how do I sum it up? How do I say this? Uh, ain't really trying to win the game. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's got engineering units, or yeah, he's got sapper engineer units to give him column shifts. He's got attack helicopters here that he hasn't even used yet. And those give you column shifts for real good combats. I just am not understanding why he's not using all his units. He's got two combats, that's there and there. He had plenty more units, he only activated six. He was at, allowed to activate 16. So there's no reason he couldn't operate, activate it there. I just, I'm not seeing anything here where, I mean, he's got all kinds of combined arms assets. It gives him all kinds of column shifts. I mean, he should be attacking all along these lines here with column shifts. He's got attack helicopters, he's got air units. He's not even using, so I'm not really understanding this. I just don't know if this is kind of like I said, if this guy's trolling me, wasting my time with this game. And it's gotten to a point where I'm gonna say something to him, like, hey, you know, you, you know what you got on there. I mean, this unit here is indispensable. I've used it before, it's a, it's a game changer, and he hasn't even used it. So I don't know, I have no idea. I mean, it's true. Um, even with one hand tied behind his back, so to say, because the guy playing the game to the full extent of his capabilities, it's going to be a tough go for me, uh, as it is. And if he was going to, or if he would employ all of his assets, it'd be a cakewalk for him. So we will see and we will carry on. But he's got two attacks going and we'll give you a drop back and land. All right, yeah, we will continue with the combats here, but... I had to send him a V-Log. I mean, he's got... This is column shifts. Artillery's column shifts. Engineers are column shifts. He's got special forces. I mean, 
I guarantee you the guy ain't, you know, what would I politely say? He ain't the, he seems to be pretty bright, I guess. I mean, I guess maybe he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I just got done emailing him saying, dude, you should have five to one odds, if not better, with all these column shifts. He just had uh, 16 units he could have uh, activated, and he only activated six. I don't know. I don't know if I'm being punked or what. I mean, I don't mind winning a game, but I want to win a game against a good opponent. There's, a, there's no way. I told him, like, oh, you got Cobra gunships here you haven't used. Trans, I don't know. Maybe it's what the style of guy plays, but. Yeah, if I was playing myself, it would have been a lot uh, more of a blowout for the Salvadorans. That's another thing I added to him. I go, dude, this, I, I should be nowhere near this uh, close. This game, it should be a Salvadoran blowout. But we'll see what's up. Uh, I'm going to continue with the game. And yeah, maybe I'll scoot on over to the Empire of the Sun table. We got some Empire of the Sun going. But I got to get this uh, game going with this guy. I told him I'd give him a vlog. It's been over a week. I've, I've had stuff going on at home, though. Some home crises. But uh, we're going to see if we can't get this pushed through. Just wanted to make a note of that, though. That's just, just kind of weird. All right. It'd be a beautiful morning for Wargaming. Because it is so cold, rainy, and shitty outside. <laughs> oh, I love these days. They got more going to be written all over them. So we're going to get back at it today on both of these tables. I did hear back from my partner on this game. And I just kind of inquired as to why he was, wasn't was using all of his assets. And he had a lengthy uh, response. And my uh, response to his response was, wise policy. So he's, he's got a, he, there's a, there's a method to his madness. I was just kind of a little bit curious, but after he talked to me and told me that, you know, pointed out that he could be losing victory points by attacking instead of gaining, and it, it's it's that's a iffy, you know, either or. But uh, that's the way he wants to take it, and we're going to go ahead and continue with this game and uh, enjoy our last week of gaming season. Be back at it March 20th, weather permitting. Be back. All right, we're continuing on here, and this is what he's got going on. Oh, I moved a bunch of his units up here. He's got insurgencies. We'll show you who he's got in the hex. And in this hex here, he just barely made stacking limits. <laughs> he forgot about stacking limits in other places, but we'll take care of that later. But he's got a company here. It only counts as one. You're allowed five stacking points in a hex. These other units here. Now, this next unit here has a white dot on it. It means every time it wants to move, it's got to roll. And it can only ro uh, move on an even number. All right, so he's got this unit here. Now, this unit here is going to be a soak-off attack unit. What he's got to do in this game is attack all adjacent hexes. So this is be one of his units that's going to be participating in the attack, I believe. Oh, put these boys all back here. There you go. You definitely have to have a... a oh, Wargaming Coordination. Where these things come in and play with some of this. Uh, I bet you somebody with Parkinson's or something could not play this game. That's bad news. You almost you do have to have your... almost got to be like a surgeon with your uh, moving skills. Okay, well, he's using artillery, so I guess he'll go... Ah, uh, start with an R for artillery, so that's good. So I guess he's going to use that unit that I just showed you here, there. And on this one... Why would you use artillery? I would have used artillery for the other attack, but whatever. Okay, he's going to use this unit here, so... Oh, I see what's going on. Well, how could he do... What? I don't understand. All right, so he's going to have a soak-off attack, which means... Oh, wait, hold on. Does he have artillery here? No, he don't. i got to figure out what he's doing with this attack, or where he's attacking. It says... Start with hex... A soak off attack at hex 111. So this is hex 111. I don't know if it'd be a soak off attack if he's using an artillery in here. What else did he say? One for one, R for artillery. Alright, maybe he's just gonna uh, attack using his. Uh, and that's another thing. You'll notice on my vlogs, I'll put what ha hexes, what units are attacking from what hex. To what hex and what hex, what's uh, units are defending? I'm trying to figure this out because he's not telling me. <laughs> I'm very specific on my vlogs. I would be saying that attack is coming from this hex to this hex involving these units and this unit. So I don't know what he's doing here. 
Uh, I guess he's just using that artillery unit. So let's let's see. That, let's, let's guess that he's uh, attacking from this hex to this hex using just one artillery unit, and he does use a uh, close air support. So that'd be uh, he's right. It's a one-to-one -one attack. Oh no, I got a two there. Yeah, hold on a second. He's got to be using some other units from another hex to make it one-to-one. -one. And that's just it. He's not telling me which units he's using. We'll be back. All right, note to Vassal players. Be as specific as possible. I'm emailing him, trying to figure out how his attack's going. I don't know if he knows that this unit over here's got a two attack factor. Uh, I figured it out myself where it would have to be this unit here, this artillery unit, and this unit here. That'd be three attack factors attacking my uh, two... I'd give him a one-to-one, -one. but he, like I said, I gotta figure this stuff out myself. <laughs> he should be, he should be telling me what units are here. So anyway, I've gone through everything. I think that's the only way he can get that attack going. I haven't gone through the vlog to see what his die rolls are because I'm waiting to hear back. Because I'm, I'm waiting. I'm assuming he knows. I'm assuming that's correct. So like I said, when I do my attacks, it is what units from what hex are attacking what units from another hex, not just one-to-one -one attack. <laughs> modifiers so yeah uh, be a lot more specific i'm as specific as can be on my vlog so i i you know like i said i think it's going to be these two units from this hex and this unit here these are is column shifts and uh die roll modifiers for crossing the river and everything close air support are all good i just got to know which units are coming up with the attack it's definitely not he's not using his special forces or else he would have gave me a column shift for that and i don't know if he's using his brigade but yeah that's where we're at we'll be right back all right, well, here's what I mean. This is for uh, anyone, anybody playing <laughs> V-Log games. I'm starting with your first attack at Hex 111. Your V-Logs start off with Soak Off in 111, all good, but then it goes to 1 to 1. Yeah, and I mean, you have to guess that. Knowing the game, you could pretty well figure it out. I'm guessing. 1 R for the artillery column shift, minus 2, river. Okay, I'm with you. Then he has on here plus 1 close air support equals a minus 2 die roll modifiers. Everything's good there, but then I say stop. Questions. What units are attacking what units? Hex 1112 contains two units. Since you're using an already column shift, it's a no brainer. Blah, blah, blah. You can read all this. Uh, my foreign unit, blah, blah, blah. I assume that another. So let me look at what unit qualifies. And I tell Michael, see what I mean? I got to go through all this <laughs> just to figure out which one. So finally, I figured it out. Like, like I showed you, but I'm just showing him here that, uh, yeah. You need to be a little bit more specific. I mean, like I said, it, I shouldn't have to go around and it through his unit to kind of figure out what he's doing. And he might not be doing it that way that I'm talking about. So, yeah, what units, what hacks are attacking what units? We'll be back. All right. I will give a hats off to my opponent when it comes time to uh, get things straightened out. He's on it. So we'll be able to continue with this game. We have to take a little pause here and there. Uh, you guys won't notice, but this all takes maybe about a day or two. But we'll condense it down until like a... 15 20 minute video but yeah he is back uh he says he knows what i'm what what it's all about and he can he straightens it out sometimes he started out i don't know what i was thinking hey that happens with all ain't no big deal if you can get the repertoire going between the two players of what we each need and you can get you can find yourself a really good op opponent you just gotta like any relationship gotta iron iron out the dis differences all right we will be back and uh with some more central america we'll call us a quick video be back